replacing a processor. To complete this procedure, you need a number 2 Phillips screwdriver and the processor replacement tool. Caution: Unplug the server from the power. The processors are located inside the server. Remove the server cover. To identify the failed processor, press the Fault Remind button. A lit fault LED indicates the failed processor. To replace the processor, first remove the heat sink. Gently apply pressure to the top of the heat sink while loosening each retaining screw one and a half turns at a time. Continue loosening the screws until all four screws are completely disengaged. A thermal compound applied between the heat sink and the processor acts as an adhesive. Do not allow the thermal compound to contaminate the workspace or other components. To separate the two components, gently wiggle the heat sink left and right while pulling upward. Use an alcohol pad to completely clean all thermal compound from the underside of the heat sink and top of the processor. Keep the heat sink to use with the replacement processor. To access the processor, first, release the two processor cover retaining levers by pushing down on the end of each lever and moving it slightly away from the processor. Lift each lever to its fully open position. To open the pressure frame, rotate the processor release lever on the right side toward the closed position and lift the frame to its fully open position. To extract the processor, use the replacement tool. Press the center button on the tool to the down position. Orient the replacement tool on top of the processor so the triangle on the corner of the tool aligns with the mark on the processor. Note, the tool must be correctly aligned. To engage the tool with the processor, push the locking tab on the removal tool away from the center button. To remove the processor, lift the tool out of the server. Turn the tool upside down. To release the processor from the tool, push the center button upward. To remove the processor, hold it by the edges and lift it out of the tool. To attach the replacement processor to the tool, press down on the center button and turn the tool upside down. Pick up the replacement processor by its edges with the circuit side facing upward. Position the processor in the tool so that the mark on the corner of the processor is aligned with the triangle on the side of the tool. Set the processor in the tool. To lock the processor, press the tool release lever. An audible click indicates that the processor is locked in place. Turn the tool over and align the tool with the processor socket. Gently lower the tool until the processor sits in the socket. Caution: Irreparable damage to the processor or motherboard. Do not press down on the processor. Note, ensure that the tool sits evenly in the socket and is not misaligned. Press the center button to release the processor. Lift the tool from the processor. The processor remains in the socket. Visually check the alignment of the processor in the socket. When properly aligned, the processor sits flat in the socket. Close the processor retaining cover.
lower the socket retaining levers to their fully closed and locked positions. Use the supplied syringe to apply 0.1 milliliters of thermal compound to the center of the top of the processor. Do not allow the thermal compound to contaminate components or the workspace. Position the heatsink over the processor and align the heatsink screws with the screw holes in the motherboard. Lower the heatsink onto the top of the processor. Once the heatsink contacts the top of the processor, avoid moving the heatsink. Gently apply pressure to the top of the heatsink while tightening each retaining screw one and a half turns at a time. Continue tightening the screws until all four screws are completely engaged.